Even now, savage and untamed, and yet an open book to those who can read her. Where the hell are we? I always made it a point to travel very light. Most important, a diary in which I kept all my notes and a few personal things. Wonderful, these native guides. It was little things like that that earned me the title of Old White Father, or so they roughly translated it. I was nearing the end of a journey through the interior, where I had been studying the customs of the native tribes, when suddenly I heard music, of a rough and ready sort, and came upon an extraordinary sight. But it wasn't only the girls who caught my eye. The meaning of the young lady's dance was unmistakable. But the men seemed to be missing the point. Then I realized that there were no children to be seen anywhere. I hadn't much time left since they were arranging a reception for me at the British Embassy in Rio. Nevertheless, I was wondering what could possibly be the explanation of this strange phenomenon when suddenly I heard a shot. Little did I dream how important my diary was to become. Why don't you think about it, huh? <laughs> well, if it isn't Roly Poly, what are you doing here? I happen to see your car. The one Mr. Ardonian gave you as a present. Who oh, am I intruding? Not at all. I'm showing my brother the best of Rio. Your uh, brother? Yes, he's here on a holiday. Are you staying long? Oh, uh, just a couple of weeks. Wonderful thing, brotherly love.
309 Kelly calling 306 from Corcovado. I just locked myself into a tight ball game. Over. And out. Carson brought it. Aldrich's body is on the yacht. No one will ever find it. And his notebook, his diary. What is it? I don't know. You'd better find out. If that notebook gets into the wrong hands, it could be very serious for me. Ringo, I cannot tolerate any more stupid blunders like the one at Corcovado. If we let that American get away the next time, you may find yourself in the company of Lord Aldrich. Don't worry, sir. I'll see that he's taken care of. I'll depend on that. Miss Soong, sir. I came to arrange a meeting between you and my employers. When? You will name the time and the place. From our point of view, the sooner the better. Who will it be? I don't know. All I know is it will be somebody very important. With authority to make decisions? Completely. We do not play games, Mr. Adonian. Neither do I.
Can you remember that? Of course. They will be there. Goodbye, Mr. Adonian. Goodbye, Miss Son. Kruger? Yes, Mr. Adonian. They have agreed to a meeting. Have the laboratory ready for a complete inspection. Immediately, sir. Thank you. There he is again. Oh, I'm sorry, honey. I know speak of Portuguese. I go home right away. Well, it's all yours, but drive carefully. But your car! Oh, don't worry. I never like the color anyway. But I cannot drive. That's your problem. Follow that little gray van. What for? Five dollars. What do I look like, an American? I didn't think it showed. Yeah, but that includes meals. Right. <laughs> we have lost them. <laughs> you don't have to convince me, darling. I'll go with you. If he finds out, he just sent me a basket of orchids. Of course I did. Don't be silly. Now, you're not to worry about last night, my precious. You remember what the little insect said. If at first you don't succeed... <laughs> oh, stop it. You're making me itch all over. <laughs> now, that's enough. I'll see you at the airport. Bye, sweetie. So do I. Bye. Excuse me, ma'am. They're deadly. Who are you? The name's Kelly. Now you'd better get out of here and don't waste any time. What about my things? You've got all you need. Uh, 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 not that way. Catch first plane leaving. Pity I don't have more time. Yeah, I know. Everybody's in such a rush these days. Well, off you go. Don't stop until you get to the airport. And keep your fur closed. Pity. here in Rio.
Hello. Well, did you get him? No. Fool. Who? Him or me? If this operation produces an orchid of exceptional beauty, I'll give your name to it. Joya. <laughs> How oh, chic, Mr. Adonian. You love orchids, don't you? Oh, yes. But they don't live very long. Yes, they do, you see. Perfectly preserved. You mean they'll stay like that forever? Indefinitely. We developed the process in our laboratories. It's wonderful. That's such an important man of business. So powerful. So talented. Can't find time for beautiful things. It's always time for beautiful things. So this is for you, Jaya. <laughs> Try it on in there. I want to talk with Omar. Did you deliver the orchids? Yes. Well? She got away. How? It was him again. Him? The American. The fantastic. How can I ever thank you? You can go. It's beautiful. What can I do to deserve it? Be faithful to me. That's all. Be faithful. Well, if it isn't Humpty Dumpty. Where were you last night? Out. Out where? I went out to eat. Alone? No. <laughs> With 50 other people in a restaurant. Mr. Ardonia would like to have seen you last night. Well, then you should have called me earlier. You can't expect me to sit home by telephone all day. Mr. Ardonia has been very good to you, Karen. The check of yours that he covered, it was... Thank you, James. I shan't need you anymore today. Thank you, Miss Susan. Fleming at home? Si, senor. Signorina y senor Ardonian. Thank you, Maria. Ah, uh, <laughs> hello, David. I've called at the wrong time, huh? Uh, certainly not. I'll only be a moment. Uh, uh, Maria? Signorina? Some iced tea for Mr. Ardonian, please. Oh, thank you. <laughs> From home. 
They seem to think I'm going to get jabbed with a needle in Rio and wake up in a harem in the Middle East. Oh, Rio can be a dangerous city. I know, the traffic. I brought you a small housewarming gift. Oh, splendid. Just give me a tiny moment while I put some clothes on. Do you know? I never thanked you properly for finding me this marvelous villa. Oh, I own so much of Rio. It was no problem. <laughs> I think you own it all, and you're just being modest. Mr. Ardonian is definitely not what he seems. Any man with that number of dames is exactly what he seems. Listen, Kelly, you've uncovered what looks like a white slave racket. That's not our department. They tried to knock me off at the statue. I'd say that makes it my department. This English girl, Susan Fleming, have you seen her? Yeah, I've seen her. I've seen all his girls. That's quite a collection. Well, there's something different about this one. Ardonian's giving it too much special attention. Anyway, get to know her. That's all. You leave first. You go ahead. I'll see that he gets it if he comes back. Just my vivid imagination. Susan, no, no, you haven't disturbed me at all. But just a moment. Susan? I only wanted to thank you for the lovely flowers Omar brought me. No, oh, they were actually a bribe. <laughs> I was hoping to see you tomorrow night. Ah, I see. Well, I bribe very easily. As a matter of fact, I was going to go to the carnival parade tomorrow night. Let me take you. No. Why don't you let me take you for a change? <laughs> very well. Eight o'clock? Promptly. Good night. Good night, Susan. Why is Sylvia not at home? She says it's her brother. I will take care of them. How long does it take to turn out a chauffeur like you? Oh, not long, sir. About four or five generations. I think I ask for that. No, he really means it. Seriously, it's quite true. doesn't object to being next to my car, does it? Oh, no, sir. We've had it inoculated.
Who sent this? That lady over there. Excuse me for a moment. And exciting, isn't it? Care to dance? You wouldn't have the time, would you? It stopped. You see, I keep forgetting to wind it. Try tying a knot in your throat. I was only trying to keep you company until Ardonian gets back. You're a friend of David's? Oh, I'm so sorry. I, I thought you were just on the mate, so to speak. No, hell no. Well, you needn't sound so positive about it. Some men do try, you know. They'd be stupid not to. Damned exciting, isn't it? I didn't know that uh, Sylvia had a sister, and you arrived only this morning from Italy. Yes, I wanted to surprise Sylvia, but at her house, they told me she had not been home since yesterday. I thought you might be able to tell me where she is. She's gone on a journey to the Amazon with Giorgio. Giorgio? Sylvia's brother. And naturally, your brother, no? Oh, yes, yes. Say, how about having breakfast with me tomorrow? Lunch? Dinner? No. Well, you certainly know who you won't eat with. No, it's just that tomorrow I'm going on a trip with David up into the interior. Oh. By car? By car and then by yacht. <laughs> Sounds like a great trip. Damned exciting, isn't it, Mr. Ardonian? I don't believe we've met. You're absolutely right, but we do have mutual acquaintances. As a matter of fact, several of them tried to give me your regards up at Corcovado. Really? It is possible that you are leaving Brazil very soon. Tomorrow, for instance. No, no, unfortunately, I happen to have other plans. Change them. And put an end to a beautiful friendship? That's my advice. I'll keep it in mind. By the way, uh, thank you for the lovely girl you sent me. <laughs>
Yes, Kruger. They are here, Mr. Ardonian. They are waiting just off the coast. I let them in. You and Kazai show them anything they want. I'll be there very soon. Right. Supplies for the crew. <laughs> we can leave now. Oh. Did you fix it? Yes, sir. Unfortunately, young man, you didn't take my advice last night. Now I want you to watch something. Lord Aldrich. Just watch, my friend. Piranha fish. Exactly. The river's full of them. But you will be alive when we put you down there. When I return, you will be ready to tell me who you are and for whom you are working. I'll be back very soon. Oh, David, can't I come with you? It's so boring here without you. It's no right for a lady, believe me. Chairman? We take your proposition very seriously. However, it's a little hard for us to believe that the population of the United States can be destroyed without a shot being fired. You'll be convinced. Mr. Kasai has shown you the technical plans and installations. Now, I will show you the results, which is what you are interested in. Sit down, please. This song will translate for the sake of complete accuracy. Observe. Men, women, children, and unborn babies will lose their sexual drives and become unable to reproduce. 
The green light represents radioactive impulses generated by my apparatus in the capsule of your rocket. These impulses, filtered by short waves, are emitted by a special process known only to us from a rare form of cobalt. As you see, the emissions occur only over the United States. What is the danger to other countries? None. The emissions are in the form of a wave and not as a particle. Therefore, the danger of drifting is eliminated. That's it now, huh? May we see the device? Of course. Please. Kane. Yes, ma'am. What have you got behind your back? My hands. But I thought you said you were a friend of David's. Oh, you said I was a friend of his. So I did. You wouldn't like to come down here and open this door, would you? Well, I wasn't long, was I? <laughs> David, there's a man tied up in your cabin. I know, I know. We found him on the yacht. We'll take him back to Rio and hand him over to the police. jumped overboard. Anyway, it was merciful to shoot him. Otherwise, he would be eaten alive by piranha fish. Your Eminence, how good of you to come. No, no, good of you to ask me. Is Lord Aldrich here yet? Uh, no, not yet, no. Uh, 
Mr. Ardonian, how very nice to see you. Thank you. May I present Miss Susan Fleming? It's a pleasure to have you with us this evening, Miss Fleming. How do you do? We're a little late, I'm afraid. Not at all. We were Excuse just going me, to... Excuse me, sir, but uh, could I have a word with you? Uh, will you forgive me? I'll be back shortly. Of course. Excuse me. Ah, good evening, Mr. Ardonian. This Indian brought in Lord Aldrich's haversack. His haversack? Well, where's Lord Aldrich? He says he's dead, sir. Then... May I have the pleasure of this dance? Well, I should be delighted. Will you excuse us, please? Of course. You'd better take him into the library. Yes. gentlemen have met. I hope I shall have another opportunity later. Part of me. This is most distressing. Poor Aldrich. Such a seeker after truth. Murdered, you say? Wait here. Wait here. You understand? I'm coming back. sad information. We have just heard that Lord Aldrich, that intrepid voyageur, has made his last journey. He has died very suddenly. In view of the distressing news, this evening is officially at an end, but please feel free to stay a while longer if you wish. Thank you very much. Charles? Yes, sir. He's gone. Who? The Indian. The window's open and he's gone. And what's more, he's taken the notebook. Are you sure? I'm quite sure. I'll take that. Oops, <laughs> excuse me, sir. Rather crowded, isn't it? Mentre l'uno sogna, l'altro man. Why, thank you. Io preferisco il calcolatore. Perché? Perché secondo me un uomo oh, deve sorry. essere con right. Dreadful sleeves, aren't they? Eh, we are. Fine. Preferisco l'uomo che sogna. Thank you. Shall we go? Certainly. Good night. Good night. Thank you. Good night. Good evening. Would you please call James and ask him to take you home? I have some urgent business to attend to. Really sorry. Certainly, of course. As a matter of fact, I have a bit of reading I'd like to catch up on. Good night. Good night. The car is here, Your Eminence. Thank you. Ah, 
Your Excellency, I... James, I'm stranded at the embassy, dear. Come round and fetch me. Really? But I just don't know what to say, Your Eminence. I can't imagine why your cape disappeared, though. Please, don't be upset. I'm more disturbed about the book. Still, I'm sure whoever took it will enjoy it. Well, where's the car? His Eminence's car left a while ago, Your Excellency. Oh, no. This is outrageous. Go get my car around at once. Good night. Good night. That's right, the Rolls Royce. Follow it. <laughs> I think we're being followed. I'm not at all surprised. You look absolutely stunning tonight, if I may say so. Thank you, James. But I don't think that's what they're after. near the car, please, gentlemen. Oh, please, sir, not on the motor car. Oh, dear. I thought it would be you. Sit down. I've come for the notebook. Sit down. It's loaded, ma'am. Hmm. Uh, we'll both throw them in the armchair at the same time. Agreed? Agreed. Do you mind if I smoke? Not at all. Thank you. I've still got another one. So have I. Armchair? Armchair. I 
like that makes us about even. I still want the notebook. Keep back. You get one of those, huh? Tripentol? Sodium entobitumin. You're an agent. British. What's your name? Susan Fleming. No, no, I mean your real name. 1336. What's yours? 409. I mean your real name. Kelly. Uh, CIA, I suppose. Hmm. Uh, is Kelly your first name or your last name? I don't fully remember, ma'am. Everyone just keeps calling me Kelly. Well, I guess we might as well sit down. Oh, I expect so. <laughs> I, I suppose it was you who sent those thugs after me. After the reception. That must have been Davis. He's my senior contact man here in Rio. Oh. The notebook? Oh, certainly, of course. Excuse me. Whereabouts? Well, and now all it does <clears throat> is give the location of a village. That's all? Well, it describes a dance the women did while the men played games. Have you got anything? I'll use it, Kelly. I'm warning you. On a friendly agent? You're not supposed to be that friendly. Now, let's be sensible. All right, you win. Let's review what we've got today. Number one, proven contacts with the Chinese. And two, the certain murder of one Lord Aldrich. Uh, does the name Kruger mean anything to you? Kruger? It doesn't seem to ring a bell. Why? Well, it seems he's working out in the wild somewhere for Ardonian. Strange, because I've heard the name, but I can't think where. Well, maybe we could find out something if we run up to that village Aldrich mentioned in his book. It could be. Another thing, all of Ardonian's girls have disappeared except one. Mm. Karen. And you. I know. Maybe he's saving the best for last. Thank you. As a matter of fact, he's asked me for lunch tomorrow. I mean, today. You said no, of course. I said yes, of course. Well, that's a damn fool thing to do. Those other girls are probably at the bottom of the sea by now. That's a risk I have to take. Oh, great. What are you going to do, waterproof your bra? Good night. I'll call you after lunch. On what, your harp? Good night. I was beginning to think you'd never arrive. The rocket was completed two days ago. They are ready for the launching now. Oh. And the money? Deposited at a place chosen by you. I am to go with you to the launching site. Certainly. And then meet me here at 2 o'clock this afternoon. I must say, you've kept your part of the bargain. We always do. To your profit, Mr. Adonia, and to our victory. To your beauty. That I try to forget. Why? It does not help in my work. One doesn't work all the time. When this business is completed successfully, Mr. Adonia, then we shall have time for other things. Until this afternoon. Check with station KL-10 that the goal is there. Yes, sir. Did you take care of the girls? All, except the English girl. And Karen, of course. I'll deliver her wedding present today.
What is it? The notebook, Aldrich's diary. She's an agent. I'll go. Never mind. She'll be here very soon. David. You look fabulous. Mm, thank you. Listen, I hope lunch is going to be absolutely spectacular because I'm positively starved. Well, it will be surprising anyway. <laughs> Come and have a drink. Thank you. James, we can't see the villa from here. We don't have to, sir. She's got a transmitter in her little bag. Oh. Well, I still think she was a damn fool to go in there. I'm gonna wait two hours and then I'm going in after her. Lunch, sir? <laughs> Thank you, James. Excuse me, sir. Yes? Did you want to put a card with the present, sir? Oh, yes, of course. <laughs> I'm sending a small wedding gift to a friend. How sweet. <laughs> Pardon me. It was in a handbag. They must be waiting outside. I wonder what they're having for lunch. I do hope it isn't Miss Susan. Turned off to the right. They can't be far off. An ostrich boa. Wonderful. Oh, I can wear it on my honeymoon. It's beautiful. Oh, Mr. Ardonian is so generous and forgiving. I must write him a lovely letter. Must be up there.
solved it. Forget him, James. Let's get back to the villa. Art is a fabrication that helps us <laughs> to arrive at the truth. <laughs> oh, yes, isn't it? <laughs> mm -hmm. uh, do you know, David, I'm not feeling at all well. Oh. Would you mind terribly if I went home? Lunch is served, sir. Uh, but Miss Sung is here. Shall I set another place? Oh, no, no, it won't be necessary. Miss Fleming is not staying. Oh, thank you, darling. That's frightfully sweet of you. She's an agent. <laughs> And quite clever, too. They are usually rather stupid. <laughs> Congratulations. Where is Missou? In the study, sir. Uh-uh. Might I have a cigarette? <laughs> Try anything. Thank you. Oh, was that my ring? I'm frightfully sorry. It's always catching people. Yes, ma'am. But they seem to be keeping their distance. I wonder why. James, can't you go any faster? Rather. Don't get too close. Hello, Garrison? Garrison here. You should see them in about five minutes. And as soon as you do, open fire. We will be right behind them. Now get rolling. Right. Here we go. bearing down on us. They seem to be equipped with machine guns. Uh, wouldn't it be nice if we could just make the car disappear? Yes, wouldn't it, sir?
see you, Miss Susan. Thank you, Jane. that Irish whiskey, ma'am. James? Thank you, Miss Susan. You're welcome. This is Scotch, James. Really, sir? I shall certainly have to speak to the mechanic about that. Did you let them through? Where are they? How the hell should I know? Nobody got through us, not even a bicycle. Thank you. I am not going to ask him where he learned to speak that language. As a matter of fact, I spent the first three years of my life amongst the Peruvian Indians. Does that surprise you, sir? No. Well, what did he say? Well, he says they're going up to a temple up here for some sort of fertility ritual. Fertility ritual? Yes, well, it seems for some extraordinary reason nobody in this village has had any uh, sexual desires for four years. Really? Four years? Quite a stretch. Yeah. Kruger. Kruger? Sure, now it rings a bell. He was wanted at Nuremberg for experimenting on inmates in the camps. What sort of experiments? Producing sterility by means of radiation. radiation. They've been using these people as guinea pigs. has absolutely no effect whatsoever on these men. Do anything for you, James? Not while I'm on duty, sir. Ah, 
I don't think I can watch this. I'll see you outside. Susan, it's all right, it was a transmitter. They're heading southwest. It'll be a rough ride. Not a road, nothing. They can't be far. Over there. You should eat it. It's not good for you to die on an empty stomach. I want my little bag. No bag. You already know everything that's in it. What difference can it possibly make? Maybe later. As a last request. She's got to be in there somewhere. I better take the radio microphone with me. I. Good hunting, sir. Yeah, thanks. Have Ling and the others arrived? Yes, sir. The girl is down below.
are the specifications for fitting the radiation transmitter into the rocket. Thank you. Gentlemen, this is a great day for you. Yes, Mr. Ardonian, the age of American domination is about to end. Five times across the American continent, and their population goes into a permanent decline. The launching will take place in one hour. And now, gentlemen, I want you to understand fully what I am about to say, so perhaps Miss Soon had better translate. I am aware that your government is worried by the fact that the divide could be used against other countries, including yourself. I understand your worries, and I now intend to end them once and for all. Why? Why? <laughs> you should be grateful to me that you are still alive. Out. Hello, James. Can't hear you very well. You're a bit faint. Well, that's the way I'm feeling. Now, listen to me carefully. Call Major Davis on 306. Tell him to get up here with every plane and man the Brazilians can spare. Right. Yes, yes. I've got all that. What? Every second is... Just a minute. Stand up. Put your hands behind your head. Coming up. <laughs> You were saying, every second what? Is vital. Vital? I'm so sorry, I might have thought that myself. You can leave her. I should kill you. But I'm living the greatest day of my life. You see that rocket? In a short while, it will blast off, carrying in the capsule a certain device. For sterilizing the American people. No, no, for sterilizing all mankind. After 20 orbits, man's sexual powers will begin to wane till sex finally becomes utterly unimportant to him. You're mad. Don't you understand? By the end of the century, there will be so many people in the world. We shall be reverting to cannibalism or killing each other for what's left. This, this, this is the only solution to the problems of mankind. You mean to your own particular problem? Yes my particular problem. Haven't you forgotten something? You too will lose your passion. No, no, I've forgotten nothing. <laughs> to them and radiation cannot affect them here in this laboratory we found out how to do it a discovery men might have used to visit the furthest planets reaching them no older than when he set out but now all is changed <laughs> but you must know you can't expect to get away with this sort of thing they'll destroy you 
No. <laughs> They'll protect me. For I'll be the only one left who can perpetuate the human race. I'm offering you a last chance to escape the fate that awaits the rest of the world. is achieved by passing the body through these machines. Oh, show Miss Fleming the final step. want to come out looking underdone. Thank you. Well, I guess I'm ready. 
Now, inhale deeply and relax. Cooperate and relax. Metal benzyl pyrate. Excuse me. I thought you were clever, but no. You were stupid enough to try to escape from me. Put her in the rocket. One, twenty. 
Rocket. I'm not going to ask you how you got out of there. What priceless idiot blasted that rocket off? <clears throat> Excuse me, ma'am. Would you marry me? Kelly, will you please stop calling me ma'am? At least until after we're married? Yes, ma'am. The sterility apparatus. James took care of it naturally. You sure? Quite sure. Let's get out of here. Home, James. Wherever that may be. Yes, sir. Start, sir. You mean there's something wrong with this car? No, there's never anything wrong with the Rolls Royce, sir. It's just that it won't start. Kiss the 
again.